everyone. So today we are going to be talking about non-standard units of measurement. So what I mean by this is there are two different types of ways of measuring things. That is with standard means of measurement, which are things like rulers and yardsticks. Those are already measured accurate, accurate, um, <laughs> Uh, measurements where each of them is the exact same. So uh, say, for example, I was going to uh, measure myself and I wanted to do it with a ruler. Every time I measured myself, it would be the exact same because the measurements are the same. Now, if I were to use non-standard measurements, things that aren't already measured out to the exact inch or feet, then it wouldn't be the exact same. So uh, I'm using random household objects that I have to show you guys what I mean. How if you measure things, items with just random stuff, then you're going to see that the measurements are going to be totally different each time because they're not standard. All right. Now, if I was to measure these things with a ruler or yardstick or all those each time, it would be the exact same. It, like if it was 12 inches for one, it would be 12 inches again, 12 inches again. All right. So the things I'm going to be using to measure are going to be, first off, a little cat. All right. That's why I have the cat sign on there. So he's going to be the first thing I use to measure. Secondly, I'm going to be measuring with a chapstick. So we're going to see how many chapsticks they are. And then third, I'm going to be measuring with my dry erase marker. So we're going to see what the measurements are with those. The very first thing, for those of you who can't see, I'm going to be measuring is my Pikachu that I got in Japan. All right. So we're going to see how many cats this Pikachu equals. And the best way to start is kind of on the, I'm gonna start on the flatter side. So you start at the bottom always, all right? So I'm gonna measure up the bottom. Already I see he's one cat tall. I'm gonna mark where this cat stopped. So one cat, and then let's bring it back up. Right on my finger, two cats. Bring it back up, and then he's gonna go on my finger again. Three cats. So, so far Pikachu is three cats tall. Let's see, all right, four cats. And then I gotta count the ears, so I'm gonna kind of pull it over here. All right, so Pikachu is about five cats tall. See, because he about lines up right with the ear there. So Pikachu is about five cats. So I'm gonna come over here, and right next to the cat face, he equals five. So he's about five cats tall. Five of my little cat toys tall, not actual cats, because he's not as big as my actual cats. But now we're gonna measure with my chapstick, okay? We're gonna see if he's also five chapsticks tall, okay? The so same thing, start at the bottom here, line it up so there's one. So far, one chapstick. Let's see, two chapsticks. Ooh, three chapsticks, let's move it over. Oh, it looks like Pikachu is only three chapsticks tall. So he's not the same. He's five cats tall, but only three chapsticks tall. And can you see already that these are not the same? These do not have the same measurement. The cat is shorter. All right, so he's only three chapsticks tall. So I'm gonna write three. Now I'm gonna measure with my pen. And you can see if I compare it to my chapstick, it's way taller. So I'm gonna guess probably he's only gonna be maybe two. So let's see. So he's one, bring it up. And if I put it here, ooh, he's not even two. So right here, he comes up maybe about halfway to my marker. So one and a half for the marker. So how I'm gonna write this is he's got one hole, okay? And then we're gonna write a half next to it. So one and a half. I'm gonna move you guys closer so you can see. There we go. All right, so five, Pikachu is five cats, three chapsticks, 
and one and a half markers. All right, now I'm gonna measure something a little bit easier to measure because it's flat. I'm gonna measure one of my video games, okay? So I'm gonna start off, same thing. I'm gonna measure with my cat. So we're gonna start at the bottom. Let's see. So use one cat, two cat, three cat, about three and a half cats. If you look at the side here, you can see it only goes about halfway. So this video game is only three and a half cats. So we're gonna do the same thing we did up here. Three and one half, three and a half cats. Remember half is one over two, all right? Now I'm gonna measure with my chapstick. So let's see. So we got one chapstick, two chapsticks, about two and a half. So about two and a half chapsticks, all right? Let's put it in equals two and one half chapsticks. Now we're gonna measure with my marker. One marker, I can already tell it's gonna be. And then another marker, not even a half really. Probably I'd say, well, that's about half, one and a half. So one and one half. So three and a half cats, two and a half chapsticks, one and one half markers for the video game. All right. And then the last thing I'm gonna be measuring is this coffee can. It's milk coffee gold. It's good. All right, so I'm gonna take my cat. See, there's one. Get it at the bottom. There we go. One and two. So about two. So two cats for the coffee can. Two cat equals two. Let's see the chapstick. Ma'am, don't like that. I, my cat's licking the flower. All right. Chapstick one. Oh, I can already tell what this is going to be. One and a half. Yep, about one and a half for the chapstick. So one and one and a half. Now let's measure with the marker. Well, with the cap on would be best. And then with the marker, it looks like it's not even a whole marker. So I would say probably three fourths of the marker. All right, three out of four. Because if we divide this into four parts, it probably would only take up three of the parts. So I'm gonna put three fours for the marker. All right, so as you guys can see, all the measurements are different here. But did the size of any of these objects change? They didn't, they stayed the same the whole time. Stop eating the flower, please. So they stayed the same the whole time. And the only thing that changed was the size of the objects that we were using to measure them. So that's why non-standard units we generally don't use, especially when we are doing like mathematical equations and stuff. Um, but what I would like for you to do for this week is to find three objects in your house, any three that you want, um, and find some ways of measuring them in non-standard units. Okay, you can measure them with whatever you like. Maybe a spoon. Maybe you want to measure them with a Coke can that you have. Whatever you want to measure them with, you can. It doesn't have to be three different measurements. You can do just two and compare them. But I want three different items, okay? And this will also be listed on the website. So make sure you do this. Send a picture of it so that I have proof that you did it, all right? Or have your parents in the picture, okay? And I want you to see how the difference in the items you choose changes how many or what the measurement is, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.